y'all. Grams83 here, back with another review video. Um, today we're going to be going over the Smith & Wesson in the waistband holster by Concealment Express. It's going to be for the Shield 45. Yes, I've already done a video on this. Have some new camera equipment, plus I kind of wanted to go over a few things on the um, on the holsters themselves and kind of had maybe a wish list, I, I want to say. And wanted to mention just a few other things, okay? <clears throat> but today the review is on the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 45 holster made by Concealment Express. First off, do a safety check, nothing in there. All right. Um, love the holsters, okay? Love them. Um, I've had no issues with the holsters whatsoever. Uh, I've had all of them for probably four or five months, somewhere in there. Um, have them for the, this is for the uh, Shield 9mm. Okay, Shield 9mm. Um, <clears throat> have it for the SIG P238. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain to you in a minute why the SIG is not in there. I have the SIG. It's right here. But it's not in this holster. Nothing wrong with the holster, by the way. Okay. But, main thing today is that we're going to go over is Smith & Wesson Shield 45 Kydex holster made by Concealment Express. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is just kind of go over a few things. As you can see, screws. Okay. Three screws. I hate the ones with just a single rivet. I don't want to say hate. Um, it's kind of strong, but I like to be able to adjust them, okay? Over a period of time, that little rubber grommet is going to wear out from holstering your weapon, pulling it in and out, in and out, uh, moving around. It's going to flex, so I like to be able to adjust it, okay? Or be able to, if I need to replace the rubber grommet in there, I can pull it out, I can stretch it, put a new grommet in, close it, be done with it, okay? Anyways, so <clears throat> the holster, as you see, it's very, very nice Kydex, no sharp edges anywhere. You're not going to catch, you're not going to hang it up on your pants, snag your clothes, anything like that. Um, it has a 0 to 15 degree t um, cant uh, adjustment on it. It also has the adjustment screw for the tension, okay, that's on the weapon. All right, now, as you see, the weapon is in there, it clicks, okay. Love, click. Okay, as you see, the weapon is not falling out. Okay, just put my hand under there just in case. I really don't want this to hit the tile, but never had it fall out before. But <clears throat> when you go to pull it out, there's no effort. Okay, that's how I have mine set up. Very loose, but at the same time, I get the positive click. And the positive click is enough that if I hang upside down, chances are it's pressing against my body, which isn't the tiniest little body. It's pressing against my body. This weapon is not going to come out of my pants, okay? So, that's that. Um, <clears throat> to talk a little bit about Concealment Express, I love their holsters, okay? I love them. Are there tons of holster companies out there nowadays? Yes, there are. Especially Kydex. Kydex is blowing up. If you go on eBay, there's like 50 different ones. Um made from people that are in their garage or wherever, okay? Um, now, Concealment Express is a, is a bigger company than that, of course, but um, yeah. So, one thing I'm gonna, I wanna go over. Okay, this is for the SIG P238. And all the holsters are exactly the same that I have. All the carbon fiber, all the same screws, all that, okay? Safety check, okay. This is my SIG P238, which I love. I love dearly, okay? This is what I'm carrying it in. It's a Black Hawk. Nothing special. I think I got it at Academy. It was like 10 bucks. It's a pocket holster, okay? So, which means now I have to carry this in the, in the pocket. You might say, why? It's because this little device that I have on there right there that I just, sorry, I just blinded you with. Streamlight TRL6. Love it. Light laser combo. I'd highly recommend it to anybody. Um, I have two of them. Okay, I have one for this. This housing also fits on my Shield 9mm. 
and I customize it and it fits on my 45. My shield, uh, oops, wrong way. It fits on my shield 45. Um, very light sanding, just trim some stuff away. Looks factory finish uh, when you put it on the when you put it on the pistol. I just took it off the pistol to do this review. Um, when this review is over, I will be putting it back on the pistol, and this will go back in my safe with all the other holsters that I don't use right now. Am I saying anything bad about this holster for the Shield 45? Absolutely not. Love it. Why? Because this Shield 45. This right here sits next to me at bed. I don't need it in a holster right now, um, especially with that light on there and that laser. It sits in my in my nightstand next to me. Um, so that's that. I'm not knocking anything there. But on your six designs, um, I think they've been around. I've heard the name off and on for a while. Um, never seen any of their products. Never felt any, held any of their products, anything like that. Um, but I'm really, really excited that I'm going to be getting, they have one for <clears throat> the P238 with the TRL6 that's not $75, that's not $65. Um, they actually have a pretty decent price right now. Without shipping, I think it was $33.95. For a Kydex holster with a lifetime warranty that is going to hold my P238 with the light laser combo. This is pretty much my everyday carry. Yes, it's a little 380, but it's also tiny. Um, I can wear, I wear a lot of business clothes a lot of times. Um, it's my weekend right now, of course, I'm not in business clothes. But I wear a suit, I wear suit pants, I wear stuff like that. I want something small that is not going to print. I want something small that is not going to get in my way. The Shield 45 is a little bit bigger. It's not much bigger than the 9mm Shield, okay? Which I carry. I carry this all the time. I carry this all the time. Not right now because I have the light laser combo on there all the time. I carry this all the time, but I want it in my waistband and not in my pocket. So, on your six designs has a holster I'm going to check out. I'm going to get back with you on that. Probably do a comparison video of what I think. Um, that versus the Concealment Express. Of course, it's going to be different because I don't have one with that holds the light laser combo. Anyways, uh, I kind of rambled on this video. Mostly, I just wanted to do a quick update. Still love Concealment Express. Uh, their holsters have held up. Um, also, in the description of this video, there is a 10% discount code. If you'd like to check out Concealment Express, you want a 10% discount code, just copy and paste or follow the link in the description and you'll automatically get that 10% off code at Concealment Express. Um, so please comment, like, subscribe, and we will catch you next time with some more reviews. All right, have a good one.